हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन ऑफ जनार्दन अगेन देर वो सेकंड क्वेश्चन टू लाइक हाउ द कम्युनिकेशन हैपेंस बिटवीन डिपेंडेंट पॉड्स एंड हाउ द ट्रैफिक इज राउटेड सो दैट वी हैव डिस्कस सो या लेट्स गो सो गाइस अगेन आई एम बैक विद वन मोर क्वेश्चन दैट वॉज गिवन बाई जनार्दन एट again it requires like a discussion on it so um, i am making the video uh, today the question is how the communication happens between the dependent ports and how traffic gets forwarded to another port so basically we have uh, when we deploy we are deploying as a deployment so there are replicas of the ports correct so the question is that how the traffic goes to the other port like how is it decided and how all that happens so in kubernetes communication between dependent pods and traffic forwarding to another pods happens through several components sometime it is services services are like cluster ip node port load balancers or headless service whatever you are using dns ingress controllers so how traffic is routed that is all managed inside the kubernetes so uh, communication between dependent pods so when you have multiple pods and they need to communicate so within the same pod like container to container communication that is happening using local host correct so uh, and communication between pods in the same namespace or across namespace so for that we need cluster ips or headless service correct so the uh, uh, using these two uh, services only we can help building the communication between the pods which are in the same namespace or in different namespace then a uh, pod to pod communication uh, via services so that we have written like service you know uh, uh, we have to give the port we have to get the target port and accordingly as i told you in my uh, previous video of yesterday that how headless services uh, you know uh, created using cluster ips is not in that so uh, for example if front end service may need to access the back end service so back end service can be defined like this so front end pod can now communicate with the back end by accessing the service via the dns name back end service dot default dot svc dot cluster dot local correct uh now dns resolution so kubernetes provide an internal dns server that is a cube dns uh, that automatically resolve the dns name of services and ports to the respective ip address for example if your front end needs to talk to a back end service they will use back end service or default sa to resolve the ip okay and then again the pod to pod communication with headless service for that we are uh, i told you yes, i explained all this yesterday only like db db hyphen 0 so pod name uh, dot the service name dot default dot svc dot cluster dot local theek hai to if a pod needs to communicate with a specific database replica it can use a dns name corresponding to that pod so um communication across namespaces so kubernetes allow pod to communicate across different namespaces using the full dns name service name dot namespace dot svc dot cluster dot look so, okay now how the traffic forwards to another pod so traffic routing is basically done you know uh, our load balancers and everything they are following a round robin algorithm okay so if there suppose there are three pods so first uh, request will go to first second will go to second pod third will go to third pod as soon as fourth request comes it will again go to the first pod so this is a round robin flow okay now service load balancing kubernetes services are designed to abstract away the complexity of dealing with individual pod ips so when a client or pod or external client sends a request to a service the service automatically forwards the traffic to one of the backend pods 
that we cannot see right so for this uh, 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 like routing the traffic we use cluster ip we use node port we use load balancer basically what we should know that these all services are using round robin algorithm okay headless service is something where you can you know communicate where you can get uh, communicate with specific pod if you want so the traffic flow is when a pod sends a request to a service kubernetes will dissolve the service dns name to its cluster ip so which is used by kubernetes to forward the request to one of the matching pods in the backend the service will then forward the traffic to one of its endpoint if there are multiple pods in the backend kubernetes perform load balancing to distribute the traffic so for example a front end pod communicates with the back end pod through a service so front end pod sends a request to the back end service then kubernetes resolve the service to the cluster ip and the uh, kubernetes service forward the traffic to one of the back end pods then there are ingress and egress traffic like ingress controller what we you know uh, where we are defining the path based routing or host based routing so when whenever we are creating the ingress service we have to give the path and uh, like whenever uh, this uh, whenever this uh, call is done then which uh, to which service we have to route the traffic whenever uh, this uh, API, uh, this host is uh, call uh, making a hit, or this path is making a hit. So which service has to be called at which port? So that kind of uh, you know thing is done by ingress. So according to that, the ingress control will forward the HTTP request from example.com slash API to the example service. So this is a host, this is a path. So accordingly, it will uh, route the traffic. Egress means for leaving traffic, leaving the cluster. Kubernetes allows you to configure egress rules too. And these rules define how outgoing traffic can be handled. Okay. Now, how Kubernetes forwards traffic between dependent pods? So, Kubernetes automatically manages traffic forwarding between dependent pods based on the configuration of the services, selectors, DNS name. So, there are many things which are affecting the uh, uh, traffic routing, not only one thing. So, this routing of traffic is properly abstracted. We cannot see it. That is done uh, automatically by Kubernetes. Okay, so Kubernetes abstracts a lot of network complexity, making it easier to connect and scale distributed application while automatically handling the routing and load balancing. But how we can control this routing that I have given, like ingress, egress controllers are there, headless services are there, cluster IP node ports uh, services. So in this way, when we define the rules, we can handle the traffic. So guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you liked it and whatever are your views, please comment down and yeah, till then take care. Bye.